Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Wednesday here, 05 June. Crazy, crazy move in uh, equities. Melt up, as they like to say. Um, tactically, we cut uh, cut the day stuff, 2801. We on the medium term book, you know, we're short 88s after some trading. Um, and we are going to hold this and sell some more at 42, 2842. So this is the medium term plan. Got a little bit of PL in this trade um, since we've been short, you know, the last couple weeks. Surprised here. Not really sure what's going on. I guess heading into um, heading into the weekend, there's some possible uh, negotiations between U.S. and China. Maybe the Mexican tariff thing is going to be um, is going to be sort of oh, sort of fixed. I don't know. But uh, S&P was up 58, almost 59 handles yesterday. Crazy. Uh, we don't think this thing is going to go 100 handles from the lows uh, in four days' time. So we are going to retain our short bias. Uh, but we're going to wait. We're not going to try and sell some more here. If it really gets stretched up at 42 in the coming days, we will sell some there. Um, and then the kill on this is going to have to be 48, uh, 2860. The short dollar play, uh, working out here. Dollar CAD is your horse uh, and continues to uh, collaborate. New lows here, 133.76. Uh, we think this is going to break 60 before Canadian employment. And then uh, there's a very good chance Canadian employment is decent. Obviously, the last one was so good. It can never be that good again. Um, best of all time by a, by a moonshot last time. But Dollar CAD seems to be the, the low vol, uh, safest way uh, to be short dollars. We continue to like this. Today you can sell between sort of 98 and 18, and if you have core, just hold. Uh, we've traded it a few times, but we do think this is going to break 60 and, and, and probably make a move down to uh, 133.10 eventually. So that's this is our target. Core short dollar CAD looks like a good one. We got services PMI today out in Euroland. This trend line is very important. 112.85 today. First time up will be resistance, but through that there will be uh, some risk and kind of will bleed into this 113 and a quarter area. Obviously ECB tomorrow, um, but let's get through these service PMIs today. We got Spanish 915, Italian 945, uh, and then French and German just before 10. We also have uh, Euro retail sales at 11. ADP. Clarida speaking at uh, 345 from the Fed. Uh, and then we have some late stuff where we have ISM non manufacturing, which will be. ISM services basically out of the US and Bowman is speaking as well. On top of all of that, we have crude inventories at 430. So busy day, busy day today as far as uh, releases. Um, these services PMIs have held up pretty well. Um, so they're all above 50 pretty much with the exception of Italy. So we'll have to see. Um, 
we'll have to see how we do. So the forecasts are are all kind of in line with what's what's been preceding. First one is uh, 52 and a half Spain, France 52, Germany 55. Um, so see what see what's expected and this is a this is a news trade if you have if you have high speed or or fast enough internet and institutional pricing um, so if this is a big miss we sell euro yen um, if this is a uh, if this is a big win we buy euro dollar uh, with the idea that this 1285 trend line might break let's see where we are going into it um, Euro yen if it's a miss, Euro dollar if it beats. Aussie here, we're course short Aussie, so we effectively have Aussie CAD on. Um, but we're just course short Aussie because, you know, hey, they cut rates yesterday and they're in this very dovish place. We don't think this is going to run away. 04 has been the high. Uh, no real drama here. I didn't even see what happened with. Um, GDP last night came in at uh, 0.04, kind of in line. Looks like uh, CACs and services p and in China missed. Surprised uh, Aussie didn't go down on that. Anyway, we're, we're short some Aussie here. Um, you add this through this 57 area. This was like the little shock low. We talked about stops below 59 yesterday. They got done jammed higher um, short Aussie and you add through 59 is kind of the play um, and with the idea that dollar cad is going to range trade today uh, more than just continue to collapse so we'll get a chance to resell some dollar cad we're short some Aussie um, and we're watching this European services PMI to see if there's a dent or there's a beat uh, in Euroland. Market continues to be short Euro. Uh, how how much has been covered? I don't know, but there will be more covering above this this trend line. So this is something to uh, this is something to keep in mind. All right, that's all I got to say today. Um, still a bit stunned by the stock move. Uh, we'll see how this thing goes, 28.11 now. I wish everyone good luck and much, much profits. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.